Out of all the different places I get to fly, the Bahamas has got to be one of my favorites. Today we're going to fly a brand new Cirrus SR22 Turbo from Fort Lauderdale to Cat Island. Let's get this started. Fox All right, we're gonna welcome aboard everybody. We're just gonna monitor the ATIS here, pick up uh, the ATIS, and then we'll get our clearance. Five visibility and sky conditions better than five five thousand. Temperature two eight two point two six altimeter. Two niner niner six. GPS are no visual approach runway two seven east, leading the party runway two seven to runway three one. Notice the airmen. Bird advisories are in effect. Drone activities authorized at or below four hundred feet in class delta airspace. All departing fixed wing aircraft contact clearance delivery one two seven point nine or five prior to taxi. All right, we have information Foxtrot. We'll go over to clearance deliver here and pick up our uh, IFR clearance. Clearance delivery here is 254 Charlie Papa. November 254 Charlie Papa, executive clearance. 254 Charlie Papa, IFR to Cat Island, Mike Yankee, Charlie Bravo, clearance on request. November 4 Charlie Papa, clear to the Mike Yankee, Charlie Bravo Airport. See radar vectors bomb on Venice file, climb and maintain 2000, expect 11,000 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.05, squawk 4767. All right, clear of your radar vectors, uh, Zimbama, direct. I maintain 2,000, expect 1, 1,000. 1, 2, 6, 0, 5, squawk 4, 7, 6, 7, 2, 5, 4, Charlie Papa. 4, Charlie Papa, ground point 7, 5, right back, it's correct. Have a good day. 4, Charlie Papa, thanks. All right, we've got our clearance now. We'll go over to ground and uh, we'll request for our taxi. Ground series 2, 5, 4, Charlie Papa, Banyan, and Bravo 2, request taxi. So 2, 5, 4, Charlie Papa, runway 2, 7, taxi via Bravo, Charlie, hold, short of number 3, 1. Bravo, Charlie, hold, short, 3, 1, 4, Charlie right. Papa. Give him a flash of the taxi light there, let him know we're ready to go. Roger. Your plane. My plane, thank you. All right, welcome aboard everybody. Today we have a special treat. We have Nate on board with us once again. Nate, thanks for having us. Yes, sir. We're flying a brand new Cirrus SR-22 Turbo. And we're going to be going over to Cat Island in the Bahamas. And then we got my friend, Mr. Nick in the back. Nick, welcome aboard. Thanks for having me. And we're here's Charlie intersection. We we're told to uh, hold short of runway 31. 2928 Romeo, uh, taxi and Charlie, uh, Dia Bravo will hold short of Bravo 2, 2928 Romeo. Number 254 uh, Charlie Papa, cross runway 31, and Charlie can give you a telephone runway 27. Cross 31, continue Charlie 27, for Charlie Papa. All right, given our clearance to cross the runway, continue our taxi. Clear to the right and clear to the left. This will be my second time ever flying with the side stick. I really enjoyed it the first time I ever did it. Yeah, that's the worst. It's a good time. Yeah, the SR-22 Turbo has got to be up there as one of my top favorite airplanes to fly. Tower series 254 Charlie Papa, hold short 27. Uh, we're not sure if we're number one or in sequence. 254 Charlie Papa, executive tower wave for your IFR release. You can pull up and hold short of taxiway Alpha. I pull up and hold short of uh, Alpha for Charlie Papa. We're there now, so we'll just stay here. 6272 Papa, sir. If you cannot listen, you cannot fly in my pattern, sir. Runway 27. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's Stay getting in trouble. That's going to mile and a half final. He's crossway turbulence as part of King Air. Oh, man. 354 Charlie Papa, you can pull up and hold short runway 9. 4 Charlie Papa, I'm sorry. Hold short 27, please. Hold short 27, 4 Charlie Papa. All right. Give her a clearance to taxi up and hold short at 27. 354 Charlie Papa, turn right heading 305, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Right turn 305, clear for takeoff, runway 27, 254 Charlie Papa. All right, clear for takeoff. Plane of light, research Clear off. to the left. One airplane out there on You're short final. You're very weak. You need to fix that before you depart. The 305 heading set. 305 heading set. This is only 2-7. We'll line up on center line. All right, Bahamas, here we come. Awesome. A lot easier than turboprops. You don't have to worry about over-torquing it. 
We got good fuel flow, airspeed is alive. Hold center line, rotate right around 77. Let's pull back just a little bit, let it come off the ground. I'm sorry, fighting 270. And this thing gets up and goes. Yeah, buddy. 270, here we go, 700 JK. Awesome. Man, this is a beautiful airplane. There's 254 Charlie Pop. If they will start your right turn, please. Start the turn now, 4 Charlie Pop. Or 4 Charlie Pop, thank you. There we'll start our right turn here. So we'll get to about 400 feet. Uh, Cassidy landing clearance. Make a little. We'll put our flaps up. Back to final. Right. Keep it tight. Got your heading. Set up for the flight director. There's 400 feet, 95 knots we're going right now, so we'll go flap selected up. Roger. And we'll wait for it to indicate and indicate. And then there's our 600 feet and our caps is available now. Contact Mata Parker. 4 Charlie Papa 2. Departure series 254 Charlie Papa 1000 climate 2. Over 254 Charlie Papa, my mid departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 4000. Climb and maintain 4000, 4 Charlie Papa. Alright, cleared up the 4000. That's set for you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm flying with the brand new Bose ProFlight headset that is coming out. And I gotta tell you, I've used it in a caravan, TBM, and now Sirius, and it's handling all these noise levels very well. Is it? I was curious, because I know they initially said it was more, you know, for real built jet, for business jets, jets but uh, that's good to hear. Do you find it interferes a little less with uh, when you're wearing glasses or sunglasses? It, yeah, it, it doesn't interfere as much at all. Uh, you know, sunglasses. Yeah. I like to wear hats sometimes. So it really is good in that area too when you're wearing a hat. I'm having so much fun hand flying this. I don't know if I'm, I want to turn the autopilot on. The Florida Everglades out here in front of us. Hopefully we'll get a right turn here soon. I know. We told them we're going to the Bahamas, right? <laughs> I hope they understand that. You can see all the all the traffic around this area. Yeah. Busy, busy. Four Charlie Papa, turn right heading a zero nine zero. Right zero nine zero. Four Charlie Papa. All right, we'll go. Right zero nine zero. Currently two ten o'clock. Zero nine zero is south three forty east south for you. And you're clear right. Yeah, this handles yeah, nice. Like a little Porsche. Thank you very yep. Much. That's what I compare it to if it was a car. Except there's a lot more room in the back seat. Is it? I I, say, I've never sat in the back before, but wings, looks comfortable. There's FXC off of our Spirit right wing. Right 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 there we go. Yeah, there it is. All right, we'll get, engage the autopilot. Let the airplane uh, do some of the work for us. Here you go. Charlie Papa, contact Mommy approach on 133.77. 13377 for Charlie Papa. Good day. Good day. November 6th, problem. Miami, good morning. Series 254, Charlie Papa, 4000. Series 254, Charlie Papa, 580 departure, Adder. It is super hazy. You can't really. Yeah, and even though it's a VFR day, that's why it's good to always be instrument rated once you get out over the ocean, as you know. When it's a hazy day, it all blends together. Absolutely. I think we'll pop out of this haze layer in probably another 2,000 feet. Yeah. Turn right at 120. Right, 120 for Charlie Papa. Turn our heading bug and the airplane will go over there to 120 heading. Cool. If we did, we take a look down here at four flight. You'll see this is our routing today. We got radar vectors, and then we have the bomb intersection there. And then we're going to be going direct straight over to Cat Island. Showing a flight time of an hour and a half. And we're going to be climbing and maintaining 1 1,000 feet. Very exciting coming up soon here. We have Oshkosh Air Adventure 2018. We've got a great meetup schedule happening. Uh, click down below, steveo1caniva.com. We'll be uh, meeting up Thursday, July 26th at M0A booth with Jason Shepard. July 27th at Bose at noon. And Saturday, July 28th at Four Flight at noon. Be sure to stop by, check out all the pilot swag we'll be giving away. Look forward to meeting you guys. And also coming up August 10th, 11th, 12th, we'll be with the finer points, Jason Miller, out in the San Juan Islands. And we are going to be on Orcas Island doing a whole big uh, aviation expo weekend. Uh, that's awesome. The San Juan Island trip is actually sold out, but uh, if you go to steve1caneo.com, you'll have details on we got two spots available left, and we're going to be giving a big discount on the price uh, to be able to join in on all the fun. I just I moved here from Seattle not too long ago. So. You did, didn't you? There's a lot of flying up there. It's gorgeous. We were there last year, and I loved it. Yeah. 090 at 4 Charlie Pop. 4 Charlie Pop, climb and maintain uh, 9,000. 9,000, 4 Charlie Pop. 4 Charlie Pop, contact to Miami Approach, 126.05. 126.05, 4 Charlie Pop, okay. 
Approach good morning, Sears 254, Charlie Papa, 8.5 for 9. Oh, yeah, we've got 4. Spirit Airlines, Airlines off or left here. That's pretty cool, too, on 4 flight. The match is up. You'll see him over there. So that 4 flight's using your Stratus? Yep, I'm using my Stratus 2S. Okay. And you look there, you can see, and if you click on the airplane, you'll also come, it shows you the uh, NKS-162, shows you his altitude, yep. uh, his distance, his heading, and his speed, and there you go, it shows spear wings, incorporated. And it all matches here. That's really awesome. Nice. Alright, since we've leveled off, we're going to pull our uh, manifold pressure back here to 30.5, correct? Yep. So with the power lever, we're going to pull that back, and you're going to see the manifold pressure drop. Here we go. There it comes back. We're looking for 30.5. That's kind of like your cruise power, correct, Nate? Correct, yeah. It's kind of the best blend of a, you know, fuel economy and speed, There you go. All right, so we got 30.5, uh, give or take. Now we're going to pull back the mixture, correct? Yep. So the mixture will come back all the way to where it's blocked in the two T's. Okay. On mixture and friction. W345, and, uh, 11 o'clock, two miles southbound. That'll be about in this blue 1, spot on the, the fuel flow meter. What are we looking for? Right at the blue line, right? Yeah, it's going to be right around 17. So we pulled that mixture right back. There you go. And now we have our cruise power set. 133.4. 133.4 to 1-1000 for Charlie Papa. Miami, good morning, Sears 254, Charlie Papa, 9000, climbing 1-1000. Sears 254, Charlie Papa, my friend, look, good direct destination. You're about summers 2997. 907, direct destination for Charlie Papa. All right, put our power back in since we got another climb. And we got direct destination and up to our cruise altitude. All right, we're up here at cruise altitude, 11,000 feet. Incoming call. Well, we got a, we got an incoming call. Incoming call. Yeah. This is pretty cool. And uh, one uh, four miles level at one one thousand. Hello. Two three five. Hey. We have a one ticket. Hey, it's it's Kim. Oh, it's hey Kim. This is uh <laughs> Nate's wife, Kim. Hi. Kim, uh, welcome aboard. This is Steve-O. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, well, last time we talked to you, uh, you were expecting. Now, congratulations, I heard uh, you have a, a little one in your household now. Yes, I know, it's kind of crazy that I was so pregnant last time, and now she's six months old. six months old two days, two days ago. So congratulations to Nate and Kim for their uh, little daughter that they had. Yeah, thank you. What are you thank do you. What are you doing, Kim? Um, working out. Nice. Water okay? Oh, it's beautiful. There's a... Yeah, it's just sunny and there's one cloud out here, but we got the uh, Nassau, the uh, the island of Nassau, right off our right wing right now. Oh, nice. Well, you guys have fun. I'm definitely jealous. We'll bring you on one of these trips. We we really promise. <laughs> we will. Yeah. All right. Well, be safe. All right. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Thanks for calling, Kim. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Two, three, five, yeah, well, that was really cool. Yeah. I mean, we're just sitting here in the middle of the Bahamas <laughs> where, I mean, my cell phone won't get any reception. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Your wife just decided to give us a quick little phone call. Hey. Tango. She's a sweetheart. Julie, Julie, uh, welcome. That's a really cool feature of these airplanes. She's a, she's a very supportive person. Gotta give her a shout out. Here, if you look right here, these are lightning strikes from a storm. Out this direction, you won't have weather radar, but a good telltale sign you always see when you have the lightning strikes, you'll know there's a storm there. So if you look out the window, that's where you're going to see where the storm is. Right over there. It matches up perfect. All right, we've started our descent into New Bike, Cat Island. We have canceled our IFR clearance. We're now VFR. I say, Nate, we disconnect the autopilot and have a little fun. Awesome. Perfect. There's a cruise ship over here on the right if you want to go take a look at it. Let's take a look at that beautiful water. Oh, woo! That looks like a nice port of call for a, Not bad. For a cruise ship. This is what's fun about VFR is, you know, you go with whatever altitude you want, you know, within the VFR flight rules. Gorgeous. 
Back over to the right again. This is just, Thank you, flight level three. Yeah, the right. That's, 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 that's side over there. You can see the, there's like some jet skis, I think, right playing over there. That is beautiful. Yeah, flying in the Bahamas, it never gets old. It's really easy to get out here. Do you have an airplane? Nice quick hop from South Florida, especially. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Steven, his name is, correct? Yeah, the owner of the airplane. This is a, so this is a recent delivery to a gentleman named Steven up in Palm Beach. He's the owner of a caring people. It's American a 20 home health care company. And he was nice enough to borrow his airplane this, to us. Yeah, so this is one of seven airplanes. <laughs> wow. It's the 7,000th edition, so it commemorates the uh, 7,000th airplane that Cirrus has delivered. And, uh, and so this is one of seven airplanes, and he let us take it out here to the Bahamas. Well, thank you, Mr. Steve. And if anybody has any questions about you know the Cirrus or anything, please uh, feel free to, to reach out. Yeah, Nate, uh, he's worked for Cirrus. He's not selling this one particularly, but you know he does sell them. If you guys have any questions about it, I'll drop his Instagram in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Nearby traffic, here is 254, Charlie Papa, 17 out, inbound, full stop, goodbye. So right now we're talking on a 22.8, that's the Unicom frequency for most islands out here, all the airports. It's an uncontrolled airfield, so we're just announcing our position. Let's try 9, visual approach for 9. Yeah, it looks like I think we'll be going in for the visual 9. I'm going to load the visual approach, which you can do with the uh, Perspective Plus. I love that feature. I've seen that in a few airplanes and, uh, with that system, and it's yep. really cool. And I can confirm that uh, throughout this whole flight now, this Bose Pro flight, it worked perfect. Yeah, nice. I was very curious to see how it would work in a, you know, an airplane that was it's not a jet at all. Not a, not a bird jet fuel. And right. It does a good job. Goodbye traffic here is 254 Charlie Papa, 10 to the northwest. Inbound, full stop, goodbye. So we're doing ground speed at 190 right now, that's awesome. That's not too bad. <laughs> I don't know, what should, we, what should we ask the viewers, what do they want, a long straight in approach or maybe a short approach? What do you think they would want? Ooh. Probably, hey, I think they want a short approach. They, 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 short they always approach. pick the short approach. Yeah, yeah. I say we'll give her a short approach on this. Do you have one of those voting options? Uh, if, they've, if there is one, I'll set it up in the uh, top of the screen. Yeah, you gotta figure that out. What do you guys like better? I'll try to get this uh, the vote option up here on the screen. Vote right there. You like short approaches or long straight in approaches? I've never done one of those uh, polls, but we'll see what happens. I feel you. Like it's going to be pretty obvious. All right, we'll start to set up here for the landing. For full rich. I put our mixture full rich, and that's it. <laughs> All right. It's a fixed gear, so don't have to worry about yeah, gear coming down. All right, we'll put our first notch of flaps in. Roger. Selected. See our AOA comes up when you put the flaps in. Oh yeah, nice. And indicating. Very good. Goodbye traffic, here is 254, Charlie Papa on a left base for runway nine, full stop, goodbye. I'll swing out a little bit to the right so you can see Fernandez Bay Village right there. It's that cove at the beach. You see uh, that real nice cove at the beach? Yep. Yeah. That's all Fernandez Bay Village. And then we'll go full flaps, selected. Perfect. And indicating. Power back into about 30%. All right. Beautiful day. You can rent those houses, or cottages, right on the beach right here. Nice. Where we're going to be staying is right south of here. 500. Goodbye. Series 254, Charlie Papa, turn and final for only nine, full stop, goodbye. All right, we are mixture full ridge, boost pumps on, flaps are full. We've gotten our own clearance and lane lights on. Yeah, runway is clear. Good to go. Oh, this handle's nice. You? Turn in short. Base to final here for runway niner. The ramp is over there on the right. Looks like a little bit of a right cross. Rudder. Nice. Hey, not well, not too bad. Well, floated oh, a little bit, but we'll not take great. that. Get a little back pressure on the controls to help with their aerodynamic braking. Yep. Trying to avoid all the potholes. 
Welcome to New Bite, Cat Island, guys. Hope you enjoyed that flight. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll do a little 180 here and backtrack to the ramp. Beautiful day. We're going to go uh, down to the resort, so stay tuned. This video is not quite over yet. We'll go down and show you the Rolls Beach Resort. Awesome. We're going to be overnight here, so we'll find a good spot on the ramp here to park the plane. This is the ramp, and also we have customs and everything over here to the left. Let's see. Nate, where would you like to park for the night? Uh, maybe just, I don't know out of the way, so maybe over there. Right over here? That's, that's probably fine. Sounds good. We'll go over here to the left. Alright, first step, time to go clear customs. Cleared customs, piece of cake. Now it's time to go get our ride to the resort. Rolez Beach Resort. Looks pretty nice. We're gonna get in beach mode and Bahamas mode. Thanks guys for flying along with us in the Sears SR22. We'll talk to you guys someday soon. See you guys.